everybody. I'm going to do a little different video today. I have a theory on the uh, Gavin mystery. I think it's a little different than what everybody else thinks. Uh, if you played our Red Dead Redemption 2, you probably met Nigel. He's the guy wandering around calling out for his best friend, Gavin. He's searching for him. No one seems to know who Gavin is. And nobody can help him. And it's one of the mysteries that doesn't get uh, resolved. That's why it's uh, interesting, I think. <clears throat> uh, my theory is... Uh, or something darker about him. I think uh, Nigel might have actually killed Gavin. Uh, I think maybe something happened between them. And then uh, Nigel's guilt uh, made him not accept what happened. So, in his mind, Gavin is still out there, and he needs to find him. But, like, he's also punishing himself, wandering through the world, calling out for someone who's long gone. And uh, also, maybe, like, traveling all that way, and for years, so he's trying to, like, make amends for what he did. But he doesn't subconsciously realize it. So that's my theory. Nigel killed Gavin, and now he's stuck in this cycle of searching for someone who's never coming back. It's like his mind can't let go of the guilt. But when you look at Nigel's behavior, it seems to make sense. Uh, I'd like to know what you guys think. Do you have another theory on Gavin's disappearance? Uh, let me know in the comments. So, uh, did some research on the like psychology of what happened, what what I think happened, and. Uh, if Nigel did in fact kill Gavin, it was an intense emotional shock. And it was so dramatic that uh, his mind couldn't cope. Uh, I think when people experience something like that, especially when they've done something they regret or can't fully accept, they sometimes repress the memory. Or the emotion tied to that event. And it's like the brain's way of dealing with that. And also they might try to create like an alternate version of events. Like uh, Gavin is still out there. And Nigel's skill is so overwhelming that he couldn't bear to face it. That's it. That he's responsible for Gavin's death. So in his mind. Takes him on this like never ending search for Gavin. Like. Uh, maybe I can find him. Like, if he can find him. Maybe I can. Maybe he can fix it. And this kind of behavior is often seen in people who experience guilt or trauma yeah. and there's a cognitive dis dissonance I don't know if I'm saying that right which happens when a person's actions don't align with their beliefs if Nigel truly believed he was a good friend to Gavin but his actions led to Gavin's death 
whether by accident or some other way, it creates a huge internal conflict. And this, uh, the guilt of his actions and the belief that he was a loyal friend could be the key to understanding his obsession. obsession. And to deal with the dissonance, Nigel, not Nigel, <laughs> might have unconsciously constructed a new narrative where Gavin is still out there, alive, waiting to be found. Like a coping mechanism. Especially when the trauma is so intense that the truth is too much to bear. In this altered reality, Nigel's search just isn't just for Gavin, it's a desperate attempt to restore his sense of self, self-worth to undo the harm he's done in his own mind. <clears throat> Guilt is a powerful emotion can consume a person to the point where they lose touch with reality, trapped in a cycle of self-punishment. That's where Nigel is, I think. He's trapped in his own mind, unable to escape the past. The only way he knows how to cope is by continuing the search for Gavin. And that's the sad truth. If Nigel killed Gavin, whether intentionally or not, his psychotic break is the result of a mind trying to protect itself from the bearable truth in his broken state. He can't move on, so he's stuck endlessly wandering, searching for a man who no longer exists. I think that makes Nigel's search so tragic. Just not just about finding Gavin, about finding redemption. Even if he doesn't fully understand what he's looking for, it's a cycle of guilt and delusion. Oh, and I think that's about it. I'd like to hear what you guys think about this theory. Does it make sense, or do you think there's something else going on with Nigel and Gavin? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Thank you. Goodbye.